हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक गाइस टू अवर चैनल एल पी लर्निंग इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट स्पीड टाइम कर्व पार्ट टू इन इलेक्ट्रिकल ट्रैक्शन सिस्टम व्हिच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस्ड स्पीड टाइम कर स्पीड टाइम कर फॉर द डिफरेंट सर्विसेस एंड देयर कंपेरिजन In this video we are discussing about some important definitions formulas for solving the problem related to electrical traction system some important definition first crest speed it is also called as maximum speed attained by train during run it is denoted by vm average speed suppose train start from the station a and going towards the station b and cover the some distance d at any particular time t without stopping time therefore the time required by the train to reach at a station b is actual time of run therefore average speed is a mean speed maintained by the train during a run or it is the ratio of distance between the two stops or station and actual time of run third schedule speed suppose that we have three stations namely a b c train start from station a and cover the some distance d1 at a time t1 and reach to the station b and stop for the some movement of time and then going toward the station c therefore the total time required by the train from station a to c is a t1 plus t2 and stop time or we can say total time is equals to actual time of run plus stop time therefore the schedule speed is equals to ratio of distance between the two stops or station to the actual time of run plus stop timing factors affecting the schedule speed first crest speed or maximum speed for a constant distance run and with a fixed acceleration and retardation the actual time of run will decrease with increase in the crest speed and therefore the schedule speed will increase second acceleration for the given run and with the fixed crest speed the increase in acceleration will results in decrease in the actual time of run and therefore increase in the schedule speed third braking retardation it is a similar to the acceleration considerable if the distance between the station is small fourth duration of stop for a given average speed the schedule speed will increases by reducing the duration of the stop the variations in the duration of stop will affect the schedule speed more in case of the shorter distance run as compared to the longer distance run third tractive effort denoted by ft force required to haul a load or force developed by the traction unit at a wheel for moving the traction unit is known as a tractive effort 
attractive effort exerted by attraction unit performs some function first it provides the necessary linear and angular acceleration to the train mass second it overcome the gravity components of the weight of the train it overcomes the wind and frictional resistance of the train and overcomes curve resistance therefore the total tractive effort is equal to acceleration effort plus gravitational pull effort plus train resistance effort plus tractive effort required to overcome the curve resistance therefore total tractive effort is equals to 277.8 we alpha plus minus 9.81 wg plus 9.81 w into r plus 0.4 c in newton where w is a weight of the train W E is a dead weight of the train when the train is in the rest condition. G is a gradient, R is a resistance, and C is a curve resistance. Power of the traction motor. The equation gives the value of power maximum. Where Ft is a total tractive effort in kilogram, Vm is a maximum speed achieved in kilometer per hour, and eta is the efficiency of transmission gear. Now we are going toward the trapezoidal speed time curve calculation. In the trapezoidal speed time curve. we have vm maximum speed t1 acceleration time in second t2 is a free running time t3 retardation time t is a total time of run in second angle alpha is a acceleration in kilometer per hour per second angle beta is a retardation in kilometer per hour second and s is a total distance of run in kilometer we know that acceleration is equals to change in the velocity with respect to time therefore angle alpha is equals to vm divided by t1 therefore we can get the value of t1 is equals to vm divided by alpha angle retardation beta is equals to vm by t2 therefore we get the value t3 is equals to vm by beta therefore time t2 is equals to total time minus t1 plus t2 therefore we get t2 is equals to t minus vm by alpha plus vm by beta by putting the values of t1 and t2 area of under the curve gives the total distance travel during the acceleration area under the triangle is equals to half of length into height therefore s yes, is equals to half of vm which is a magnitude into t1 divided by 3600 during free run area under the curve is equals to length into width therefore s yes is equals to vm by 2 into t2 by 3600 during the retardation area under the curve is equals to half of length into height therefore s3 yes is equals to vm by 2 into t3 by 3600 therefore total distance s yes, is equals to addition of all s1 yes plus s2 yes plus s3 yes there therefore total 
डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल्स टू वी एम बाय टू इंटू टी वन बाय थ्री सिक्स जीरो जीरो प्लस वी एम बाय टू इंटू टी टू बाय थ्री सिक्स जीरो जीरो प्लस वी एम बाय टू इंटू टी थ्री बाय थ्री सिक्स जीरो जीरो बाय पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ टी वन टी टू एंड टी थ्री इन द अवो इक्वेशन वी गेट वी एम स्क्वेर इन ब्रैकेट वन अपॉन टू इंटू अल्फा प्लस वन अपॉन टू इंटू बीटा माइनस वी एम इंटू टी प्लस थ्री सिक्स जीरो जीरो इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो बाय टेकिंग वन अपॉन टू अल्फा प्लस वन अपॉन टू बीटा एज अ कॉन्स्टेंट बाय सॉल्विंग दिस कॉर्डरेटिक इक्वेशन वी गेट वी एम इज इक्वल्स टू टी प्लस माइनस अंडर रूट टी स्क्वेर माइनस फोर के इंटू थ्री सिक्स जीरो जीरो यस डिवाइडेड बाय टू के देर फोर द मैक्सिमम स्पीड इज इक्वल्स टू वी एम इज इक्वल्स टू टी माइनस अंडर रूट टी स्क्वेर माइनस वन फोर फोर जीरो जीरो के यस डिवाइडेड बाय टू के हियर From the above equation, the positive sign gives the very high value of V M, which is a not practicable. So negative sign is to be considered. Okay, guys. In the next video, we will discuss how to solve the problem based on this. If you have any question, then comment. And if you not seen speed time curve part one up to then. link given in the description box if you like our video like share and subscribe our channel okay thank you guys see you in the next lecture